It's April 22nd. We are east of Kentland and we're here in a seed corn field that had cereal rye fall broadcast. Um, and we're here looking at the goal here is to increase soil tilth and soil aggregate after seed corn. And here we have a demonstration where the cereal rye didn't get seeded and it did. And here my guest speaker Barry Fisher is going to discuss some of the what we're seeing here in our visual representation of what's happening. Well, what we've got on my left hand is the area that was after seed corn did not get a cover crop seeded. Notice there's virtually no pore space whatsoever, no aggregate stability. The surface is sealed over completely and the field that got a cereal rye cover crop in one season, look at the difference in the aggregates in the soil structure. The roots, the fibrous roots have moved through here, held the aggregates together. There's actually a place for water to be stored, a place for water to infiltrate. And so in one year, even in a difficult management system like uh, seed corn, we've got a situation that in one season, I think we'll see a difference in that soil's capacity to function that's really what we're after. You know, there's got to be a place to start in these systems and I think this is a great starting place. Uh, they'll be seeding soybeans into this this year. The rye has already been killed. It's starting to die. And um, uh, But the root structure the benefits should be evident in the very first season. Dan Perkins, cover crop guy, the power of cover crops. <laughs>